the worldview of our rulers. Dark Luciferianism occultists have controlled this world for thousands of years by using their own deep knowledge of the occult and natural law and by inventing false world religions for the ignorant masses over whom they rule. It is very important to understand their overarching worldview, for we must grasp the mindset of those who currently enslave us if we hope to end their rulership and truly be free. You have to know the enemy, folks. You have to know. This is another thing people say, I don't need to know that. I don't believe in that. Utter nonsense. Other people believe in these beliefs and are acting upon these beliefs, and you do need to know how they think. That's like saying, listen, I'm stepping in the ring with this cage fighter tonight. I don't need to know anything about his strategy, what tools he brings to the table, what he's capable of doing. Don't need to know it. You know, I'll just get in there and flail away. Yeah. That's how, that's how somebody who's really in a true fight works. They don't try to fight with their mind and understand the strategy and mentality of their opponent. They just go in there and flail away. Yeah. It's very important to understand their worldview, okay? These dark occultists fully understand that the universe is governed by spiritual laws put in place by the creator, the underlying intelligence of the universe. And they are in open rebellion against those universal moral laws. They know that these laws exist to constrict behavior and bring chaotic consequence for bad behavior. They know this. So how do they work their way around it? If they're currently still ruling and getting people to do their bidding, okay, and they're still owning other people, and they're still you know, at the top of the so-called food chain when it comes to ruling others, having them in slavery, and them as the ruling class being more free than other people, how are they getting away with this? How is it the universe catching up with them? They believe that because moral or natural law is in place in the universe, that the entire universe itself is a prison because they cannot do whatever they want and get away with it without consequence. This is the real dark occult worldview. You boil it down to its essence. Here's what they believe. They believe we're in a prison, that they're in a prison, because they know that the universe is governed by moral law, and they themselves cannot do whatever they want without consequence. That's what they want. They want a realm that anything goes, and they can do whatever they want, subvert anyone's rights, harm anyone's physical body, however much they want, and get away with it unscathed completely like cosmically, karmically unscathed. Now, since they realize that is not the reality in which they live, they consider the entire universe a prison for them. And so to openly rebel against the law that is inherent to this domain, they've made a conscious choice to say, we will never accept the moral law and we will be in open rebellion against it by getting other people to do our bidding and our dirty work for us. And that's how we'll escape the karmic consequence. And that's how they can get away with it and keep doing it. They think that it's a prison just because they're subject to law. They don't understand that the moral law is in place for our full benefit, for our uplift, for our freedom, for our growth and learning, and for our, our absolute optimum conditions in, in the physical world. They want to be God on, they want to rule in the prison that they consider hell of this world, rather than serve in what could be a paradise, a heaven, if they only capitulate to moral law. So this worldview has been personified in stories of Satan, Lucifer, Rebel angels, fallen angels, demons, archons, the Antichrist, and other anti-God archetypes who refuse to be bound by any moral standards and attempt to control creation by manipulating people into total ignorance so that that ruling class can become God. This psychopathic and megalomaniacal priest class consider those who are ignorant 
apathetic and lacking the will and courage to change the human condition to be spiritually dead. And this is what they call people. This is what the dark occultists that I worked with in the past referred to the average population of the planet. They called human beings the dead. That was their name for human beings. The dead. And their rationale went like this. If you're not using your intelligence, the thought aspect of consciousness is deadened. If you're not using your care, then the emotional aspect of consciousness is deadened. And if you're lazy, apathetic, and cowardly, and you don't take right real-world action, then the actions component of consciousness is dead. And therefore, if someone is dead in thought, emotion, and action, their entire consciousness is dead, and therefore the being can be said not to be truly alive. They're just a flesh robot that they can do whatever they want to, like property. That is their rationale for how they will treat other human beings. And to be honest with you, I can't necessarily say that I fully disagree with the reasons for them coming to those conclusions. I just disagree with their methodology and think that they're wrong for the way they behave, but people are the dead. The vast majority of the people of Earth can be legitimately described as these dark occultists describe them, sadly. Again, not saying that in a bitter, vicious way, just saying that's the truth. They're not lying in that regard. Most people do not have an activated thought process, emotional aspect, or, and they're not active. So they are the 666, the beast, or the dead.